Hey everybody, good evening. I hope as always that you're having a wonderful night or day or afternoon or whenever you're watching this. So a lot of us enjoy a good old cup of coffee. So I thought this video on Starbucks would be one for today. Um, now, when you look at the Starbucks logo, some people aren't familiar with what they're looking at. They think that they're just looking at maybe a um, mermaid. What they don't realize is no, they're looking at a siren. Remember in Greek mythology what a siren was? It was a dangerous creature. Mm -hmm. Remember, sirens were women that lived in the sea who would play music and sing and then they would trap sailors out at sea by, um, you know, their music. So they'd end up shipwrecking and getting stuck up on the coasts and, you know, they also were said that they had charms over the winds. So sirens they used to call it a twin-tailed siren back in the 15th century. That was one of the original logos that they used, they being Starbucks. And then you can see the evolution over the years of the Starbucks symbol. Um, I wanted to also take some time to read a little bit about a um, siren and this logo. So the history of the Starbucks logo the mythological creature that resembles a mermaid is the center of the Starbucks logo is actually a siren. According to Starbucks representative Tyler Krivich, Starbucks name comes from the author Herman Melville's Moby Dick novel. But the famous siren logo was discovered while scouring some old marine books. In 1971, when the founders of the coffee chain decided to name Starbucks, the nautical being stood out, basically. They said, okay, well, what what is something that is enticing and nautical? Because remember, um, the original home of Starbucks was in the port city of Seattle. And coffee beans typically traveled overseas on large containers, on large shipping containers. So they thought that the name of a Starbucks um, siren would be appropriate because, well, it was out over the waters, over the maritime, over the sea. And it was something that was very enticing. When you would hear and smell and see the sirens, you couldn't help but be drawn to it. Which is similar to why Starbucks said that they used the name, interestingly enough. Um, the logo has gone through changes over time, including its color from brown to green. And then in 1987, followed by more modern ad adaption in 1992, when Starbucks became a publicly traded company. But the most prominent change of all happened in 2011. So then the siren received a full makeover and her hair was made a little more modern and she actually also had some work done on her face and a lot of people might not actually recognize it but the face is actually not symmetrical they um they did it on purpose so during the makeover they smoothed out all of her imperfections that i guess she had originally had but then they ended up putting them back um because they had shown that when they made it the face design was not quite symmetrical the eyes were off a bit as well as um the right side of her face had a bit more of a shadow plus her nose dipped slightly lower on the right side than on the left so it showed a little bit of imperfections in it but those imperfections were what made it perfect you know, um, so anyway, a little bit there on the siren, you know, so you kind of got to wonder what the whole purpose really is. What, why did they choose the siren, uh, for a coffee logo? I get it, but at the same time, I think it's kind of morbid, but that's just me. But hey, you guys, add your thoughts. What do you guys think? 
Also, if you could do me a favor, maybe like and subscribe, leave a comment or two. I'd really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Have a good one. Peace.